Okay, folks, we're going to look at some market geometry, some harmonics uh, right now. And what we have here is, let me just remove my Keltner channels. So there's questions, is the market at a top? Is it at uh, just a retracement? And I want to point out a couple of things. Number one, market tops are a process like you have here. They're a process where the market tops uh, form ge uh, market geometry, market harmonic patterns, and it's a process where market bottoms are very spiky, a, also known as V-spike reversals. Anytime you see mo a major market bottom, it's really a spiky reversal. And then the process begins. Market tops because everybody likes to buy. Investors like to buy. They don't like to sell. They like to buy, right? They like to see the market go to all-time highs. So it becomes a process of really, really having buyers continuously being extremely bullish where the bigger money players are seeing that the market's ending and they're trying to push it down. So there's that transfer, that, that process. And uh, we could just take our... Uh, triangle charts here ninja trader and basically uh, look at market harmonic patterns okay we could basically and they don't have to be exactly perfect but you could just see how the process forms these uh, market geometry patterns even uh, right here you could just see Markets full of them, all right, all right. And let's let's look at another one. Oops, let me just do this one more time. Down, up, and then down, up. Okay, not the best uh, artist in the world, but you can see the market is full of uh, patterns, market geometry, X, A, B, C, D patterns, and it's going to continue to do so. We're also in an environment, and I'm going to erase this. We're also in, a, in an environment, let me just uh, shut that off. Move drawing objects where the market is also resp respecting the Elliott wave patterns. Now, uh, people get a little bit nervous sometimes when they hear the Elliott wave, they think of all these counts and everything, and that's true. And one thing to keep in mind is this everything moves in waves of five, all right. And a lot of times, most of the time, you'll have either a simple retracement or a complex but you're going to have one or the other. You typically don't have both. So off the market high, you had your 0, 1, 2, and then that 2 to 3 wave is typically the largest wave in an Elliott uh, fashion, or Elliott theory. And then you'll have that ABC, as you see here, that ABC corrective wave up before the fifth wave comes in. Now the thinking is, uh, potentially, let's just see if we can uh, have this down arrow. Let's see if this works here. All right, we could do this. I just shrink the charts a little bit, and potentially we can have a fifth wave down, if you think about it. So the market high put in its distribution. Then you had the reversal off the high, one, two, three, four, potentially for a fifth wave. But then what happens after that is the market will start forming a much larger ABC corrective wave up. So if that is the case, then you'll have something 
like this. Okay, a larger ABC up before you put in the lower high and then down again. And essentially what the market is doing is this. Market high to low, market retracement up, oops, market retracement up and then down again. And this would mark the lower high on the daily chart. So you have your all-time highs. Okay, let me just stretch this across. You'd have this whole zone up here to watch. So at some point, if this market is going to make a whole topping pattern, you have that initial impulse off the market high, but you're looking for that corrective wave. You're looking for another whole lower high again on the higher time frame on the daily chart. You want the market to have its process back up. It's healthy for it to attempt these highs up here one more time and fail. Should that happen, then we could start looking at a much lower sequence and should it take out these lows, then you would have a lower high and a lower low. But the first wave off the highs, that's not necessarily the quote unquote top. We still have to have that process again. A lot of times you're gonna see this also happen in uh, a geometric, a market geometry type of pattern. Well, you're gonna have something like this where the market is gonna come down right and it may fill out a, a Gartley pattern or a bat pattern uh, however pattern it fills out you may end up getting this type of market geometry to form now there is one other option and let me just change the color here and let me just show you let's just call it a slate gray and we'll set that as the default for now all right so should the market have its uh, market here market here okay of what we have right now currently and then we have that move down as we see this could possibly pull push a little further or may hold here and then back up again so the question is right now either a the markets put in its high have its impulse down this area may hold and the reason i'm saying this also is because it is divergence all right the oscillator divergence so should that happen and the market find its support down here or just give that one more push down and then up you have this uh, other harmonic that can start forming all right, basically uh, in a complex X, A, B, C, D up. But if we get that fifth wave down, then we can start that healing process back up one more time for the lower high. Regardless, I still expect the market to at least attempt another shot back up. And you got major, 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 major resistance. All this data, all right, all these sideways lines up here are extreme extreme amount of structure and resistance I do not expect the market to take that back out it's going to struggle to get back up here so as you see here we could just draw this whole area what we call uh, more or less a value area the market created a lot of value up here and it's now put that process in that topping process and now we're getting these corrective waves where any push back up is destined to fail so um, that's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the market to make new all-time highs. If you were to look at our blog, um, let me see if I could show you our blog. All right, if we were to go to our blog real quick, all right, a couple things you want to look at. And we did some uh, price and time turning points right into July, right after the holidays. Let me see if I could bring this, uh, show you. That rather than redrawing it, I could just bring it up for you. All right, so the market had large X, A, B, C, D uh, into the time and price right into July, right into the area as you see. So from this point forward, we had time and price and about two weeks later, that's when the highs hit. Uh, the second thing we looked at was 
right here, Elliott Wave, this July 25th, as we started to watch the topping process. See this right here, that whole topping process? And we're watching for the market to put in the top. So on July 25th, we would kick in that whole idea around that that was it. Time and price was coming into play. Knowing that, we're now looking at that whole downside structure, but yet that correction back up that the market should have and uh, on what we to ex what we can expect. So uh, this is where Elliott and Harmonics come together to form uh, patterns and key, key turning points. So something to keep an eye on. And I uh, hope you have yourself a great, great trading day.